Warning, today's episode of Think Peace contains a touchy subject matter that may make you feel uncomfortable as you listen, especially since it's centered around Call of Duty's very touchy racial moment with farmers. If you feel uncomfortable or sensitive to the subject to continue ahead, before you go like, if you're new, drop a like and subscribe, and for both new and returning, hit that bell icon so you can always stay up to date on my latest videos, whether it's a review, Think Peace, stream, or whatever else the case may be. Thank you for stopping by, thank you for listening, and cue the music! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're jumping into Think Peace Episode 5. So get your opinions ready and let's get started. What is going on everybody? Demi Guy Reviews here. I'm playing Watch Dogs 1. I wanted to bruise the backlog offline, off stream, and I really enjoyed this game when I played it on Xbox One the first time. It's actually my favorite of the two. I think Watch Dogs 2 is pretty bad. I don't like it compared to this one. This one you had more motive, had more freedom, had more fun. I like Aiden as a protagonist. I didn't like necessarily didn't have this name for Marcus, but he kind of just felt like a kid just doing things just to do things while Aiden legitimately had a mission and a set piece that he was doing. But anywho, I'm, I'm getting on topic. Welcome back to Think Piece episode 5. If you haven't seen last month's Think Piece episode, a link to that will be in the description box below. We have three subjects for you today and we're talking about the backlash of EA and loot boxes. We're talking about Call of Duty and the racial tension that that picture brought. And we're talking about validation. Now, you're probably wondering where the last topic is going or where the last topic has come from. But we'll get to that point when we get to that point. Now, I want to talk about the backlash on EA and the sudden responses to loot boxes. And I'm not going to be dwelling on that topic long. So I'm going to let you guys know that now. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to the nitty gritty. We're going to knock it out. Because I feel like this topic has been beaten to death. A lot of people have talked about this topic. A lot of people have been on this topic for a while now. So let's talk about the backlash on EA. Here's my opinion about EA. They basically got what they got from gamers. They got what they got from the Disney CEO. The backlash upon them and now governments are cracking down upon them for a reason of what they tried to pull. EA tried to give us basically the mobile game service on a $60 title. And a lot of people weren't going to let that fly. They basically tried to candy crush us by making us earn credits on a daily perspective by playing every day rather than just letting us unlock credits on a free scale and letting us work that way. A lot of people took offense to that. A lot of people had a hot button reaction engaged to that. EA knew that they were going to be in the wrong for doing that. They basically trying to take that free to play model or that, that mobile games model of gaming and try to really apply it to a $60 title. Which is basically no bueno. It's not kosher. It's not something that I want to play. It's not something I would invest in if I had to play it like Candy Crush or if I had to play it like Pet Hero Saga or any of these free games I can get on my App Store or my iPhone or Android, whatever the case may be. That's not something that should fly in a $60 title. A lot of people took a lot of offense to that because A, it basically forces that the loot box issue upon us and B, you're treating this as if it's a free to play game where I invested CC dollars into it. I should be able to play it how I want to play it instead of having to play it every day, every day, every day just to get something out of it. They restricted the credits to a daily perspective instead of letting, uh, uh, letting me unlock it fully. And I think that was another one of the biggest issues about it. EA was basically in the wrong here. They really tried to test out the waters with something and it really like blew up in their faces. Do I feel bad for EA? No, I don't. They shouldn't have pulled this with gamers because gamers won't take everything that's thrown to them. Yes, we've taken loot boxes. Yes, we've taken DLC. But the way you try to go about it with gamers and try to treat us like we're second class citizens instead of just trying to present it to us fully, I don't respect it. I don't like it. I don't condone it. Now, EA's in the wrong here. They're, they're very in the wrong because they try to force something upon gamers that shouldn't have went or shouldn't even flew in the office to begin with. And, and for that, the way they try to put down loot boxes and the way they try to get, you know, make us grind even harder for heroes, I don't like it. Now, I wasn't interested in Star Wars Battlefront to begin with. I thought the beta wasn't that great. It wasn't that, like, that noticeable or wasn't on my radar. But after this, I can't support it. EA really put themselves in a hole and really just wrote it off. How do you guys feel about EA? Do you guys feel like EA deserves it? Do you feel like they're just going through something? Drop a comment below and let me know your guys' thoughts about the EA and the backlash.
Now, the one of the most crucial and critical topics I want to talk about in this episode of Think Peace was Call of Duty and the racial topic. Now, I don't know if you guys were seeing it. There is a, a picture going around on Facebook, or there was a picture going around on these gaming forums and topics, you know, a picture going around on Reddit. Wherever you go, there was this picture going around of two people being hung from a tree in Call of Duty World War II. Now, I don't want to link it because I don't want to shock anybody in the description box below. If you go on your free time and look it up, Call of Duty World War II hanging, it should be there immediately in the Google search. Look it up on your free time. But, um, you know, I see a lot of people, like, outraged about this or being upset about this or, you know, not really looking at the full details or the full research behind this actual picture. Now, for those who have played Call of Duty World War II, I haven't. I just did my research upon it. A lot of people look at this picture and just assume that it's two black men hanging from a tree when they don't really know the actual level or the actual research or the actual statement or what's behind it. Let me break it down for you. People see the picture on a badly light t on a badly lit TV. They see the picture, they see the description of somebody talking about Oh, Call of Duty is talk, is bringing black men or bringing black people down as a whole or or just looking at it to see that it's black men. When they don't do the research and notice that these are two French farmers, these are two Jewish farmers, or these are two farmers in a French setting during the mission that got caught by German troopers around that time. And this is what happened to them. People don't do the research and now we have pictures flying around or floating around Facebook or a gaming forum with people being misinformed and spreading around rumors and misinformation without actually checking out what's going on. Yeah, I'm all for my people. I'm all about black power and black pride and, you know, being happy as a black man or black gamers or blurs or whatever else you want to call it. But we have to do our research and we have to know what we're talking about before we jump the gun and just automatically assume that we're talking about black people because these guys aren't even black it's just how the tv look it's just how the image looked on that badly lit tv it's just what's going on people being misinformed and not actually knowing what is actually being shown in that picture yeah and if we're gonna approach history we have to approach history yes there are black troopers that came back from the war and and got killed just off sheer racism that, that did happen we can't ignore history and pick and choose and cherry pick which history that we see. And that's the problem with like some black people or some black gamers or some black, you know, as a whole. I don't want to like just blanket, you know, everybody in, but that is the problem with some black people. We cherry pick the history that we want to, you know, see. We want to see the, the good sides of black people winning what black people have done. But we also don't want to like see the ugly side or we get tired of seeing the ugly side so much that we blanket it like we block it out our heads just to see black people win. And that's not always the case. Black people always didn't win, not especially not in the 40s around the time when everything was like happening crucially. Yeah, black people fought in the war. Black people came back. But it wasn't all love when black people when black troopers came back and actually, you know, try to do for, you know, back then. Now, I don't want to sound bogus, I don't want to sound racist, because th that is not me. Before anybody says, well, man, you're sounding real racist right now. That's not me. That's not my forte. I love everybody with a passion. I hate everybody with a passion. You know, love is love, hate is hate. Love is love, hate is hate. And I, I got both to everybody. There's no disrespect. There's no, no nothing. But we have to approach these topics and really get down to the nitty gritty, because I feel like on both sides, there is misinformation. Black people see these, like black people have seen this picture and just gone off the handles without actually genuinely doing the research about the picture itself. And like without actually looking up the level, looking up where it came from, people have just been flying off the handles and rails, especially on Facebook. They've been flying off the handles and rails in the comment section and not actually taking the time to do the research behind the actual picture. I love my black people to death. I love my race to death. I love everybody to death, man. I love to see the peace. I love to see everything possible, but when you don't do the research, you begin to look foolish because it is a lot of misinformation that's going on. And you're not really taking the time to look up what needs to be looked up. And that's what bugs me. That's what bothers me. That's what puts a little confusion on my face because nobody's actually taking the time to do anything besides finger point and say, hey, this is bad. 
or why are black people always showing a negative spotlight or why is this 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 and this being shown and not this you know we got to do better as a whole people we can't negatively react to everything and that's not a negative reaction to begin with especially since that's not us in the picture but share your comments and your thoughts about the Call of Duty racial issue, guys. Do you feel like it's overboard? Do you feel like it's overblown? Do you feel like people are gassing it? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and tell me your thoughts and opinions about this, people. Now, the last topic I saved for this video was validation. Now, you're probably wondering where did I get this from? Why did I put this in a topic of Think Peace? And this is something that I've seen. I'm like on Twitter, in these Facebook groups, everything possible. Like I've seen this everywhere so far, and I hate to see this coming from people, especially when a new item is out or a new game is out or something along the lines of that. But I hate people. I hate seeing people try to validate themselves for somebody else or some group of people who aren't going to enjoy the same thing as you. Now, you're probably wondering, where is this coming from? Now, recently, the Xbox One X launched. It launched on the 7th of this month. And, you know, I've just been seeing guys who got an Xbox try to, you know, validate themselves in order to feel good around people or try to, like, get other people to like what they're liking. Now, I'll admit, Xbox gets a lot of flack. Xbox catches a lot of heat sometimes. And... It's a 50-50. Sometimes they deserve it. Sometimes they don't deserve it. And a lot of people are enjoying the Xbox One X. And, it, you know, a lot of people are enjoying the launch of it and whatever else. And I just see a lot of guys, you know, trying to validate their purchases for people who don't really care. Or, you know, they got to prove themselves to people who, you know, don't really matter. If if you're enjoying your Xbox One X or if you're enjoying your Nintendo Switch or if you're enjoying your PS4 Pro or your PS4 Slim or your Xbox One X, or your Xbox One S or whatever you play on why are you trying to prove yourselves to people who are gonna talk trash about your console no matter what why are you going out your way to prove something to people who really don't give a damn about what you're playing on what games you're playing on for your console what games are you trying to show out about your console if people aren't trying to hear that man or people aren't trying to listen to that why are we going out the way to necessarily prove to people, yo, my console is on fire, this is the heat, this is what I'm enjoying, blah, 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 blah. Now, it's one thing to enjoy yourself. You know, I enjoy everything. I like everything. Yeah, I may be critical when it comes to reviews, but I don't feel like necessarily having to go out of my way to prove a point about my console because I know people aren't going to give a damn at the end of the day. Like... Stop trying to prove yourselves to people who are just going to bash your console no matter what you can prove. You can prove your console is the best running out of the two or the three. You can prove that it has more power, better visuals, whatever the case may be. But if people aren't trying to hear that, if people don't give a damn about what you're playing on, if people aren't really just generally caring about what you're playing or what it's looking like during this console this fictional console war that stop trying to prove yourselves this goes out to my xbox brethren because i've seen a lot of dudes doing this near the time of the xbox one x launch and i'm just like please stop these people don't care about what you're playing on you know i see a lot of dudes trying to prove themselves during the console war too like they're trying to flex the guns and the muscle because yeah, the xbox one x is a powerful console and i'm not gonna take anything away from that but still come on guys you gotta do better. You gotta do better. You can't just be out here flexing the guns and, and trying to validate your console purchase of the people. If you want, if this is what you've been waiting on, if this is what you've been wanting, then yeah, rock with it. You know, do your thing. You know, be happy. You got a powerful console. You can play these beautiful ass 4K 60 FPS games on it, just like the PS4 Pro. And it runs a little, it runs a little bit or majorly better than the PS4 Pro. Then rock with that. Do your thing. Be happy. But stop trying to validate your purchase just because other people are trying to talk about your purchase or take away the purchase that matters to you the most. And I hate seeing that. I, Xbox guys, I love you guys to death. But I hate seeing you guys do that. Just like I hate seeing the guys that was with the Switch do the same. Yet they find themselves in this, console, this fictional console war 
trying to just throw out big rosters of games. Just stop. This goes to everybody. PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, stop. You don't have to validate yourself to make yourself feel better about your purchase. You don't have to tell people what you're rocking with your purchase. You don't have to do that to make yourself feel great about what you're buying. If you enjoy what you enjoy, whether it's PlayStation, whether it's Xbox, whether it's Nintendo Switch, whatever you're playing on, whatever you're gaming on, hell, I'm playing Watch Dogs in these clips and I'm enjoying myself. I'll take a break from the, the uh, games that released this year. Whether I'm playing Horizon on my PlayStation, whether I'm playing Halo Wars 2 on my Xbox, whether I'm going to be playing Mario Odyssey when I get my Nintendo Switch later in December, enjoy what you enjoy game on what you game on game on because you want to game on and not just because you want to spend money to prove yourself to people about what you're buying and what you have if i had an xbox one x i'd be enjoying the hell out of some 4k if i had a ps4 pro i'd be enjoying the hell out of some hdr 4k 60 fps whatever game i'm playing on if i had a nintendo switch i'd just be enjoying the fact that i'm gaming on the go with mario odyssey doom legend of zelda i am setsuna all that kind of stuff. You know, and this goes for gamers in general, not just the Xbox guys who are just first, appro uh, first approaching. But as a whole, gamers, please stop trying to validate yourself to these gamers who really don't give a damn about your purchase as they will talk about what you just bought and how you just wasted money. This goes out to everybody, period. Please stop wasting your time. All right, and I think that concludes it for my uh, this month's episode of Think Peace. Uh, share your comments below about how you feel about Call of Duty, how you feel about validation, how you feel about EA's loot box problems and madness. Do you feel loot boxes are here to stay? Or loot boxes are gonna go away? Gonna go away? Just tell me how you feel in the comment section below. I will be having a review up this week. I uh, just dropped two new episodes of Minecraft Story Mode, Episode 3 and 4. You can catch all previous episodes in the description box below to catch up on. And uh, we'll be having my South Park review this Friday. I will be having Mystic Bell this weekend. I will be having Shadow Tactics next week. And I'm finally getting back into the ways of doing videos. And uh, I'm back, guys. So, yeah. Until next time, and until the next Thing Peace episode, guys, we'll tune in, turn up, and throw down. Hit that notification button. Hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, guys. And I'm out.